Do you think the fact that Five Nights at Freddy's movie is going straight to Peacock will hurt its box office numbers? I mean, that's always the case. This will always be the case. If there's only one place to watch it and it's at the theater, you will sell more tickets because it's exclusive. It's the only revenue stream. So if you drop it on a streaming service at the same time as you drop it in theaters, there's now two places people can watch it. There's now two places people can send their money. So then some people that would have bought a ticket will just go over here. I've, I watched it a second time last night at my house on Peacock. The whole family watched. Karen's already fallen asleep, but Jennifer, Chloe hadn't seen it before. So Liam wants everybody to watch it so he can talk about it. So we watched it again. Had it not been on Peacock, is there a chance that he could have convinced my sister and wife, or my sister, his sister and my wife to go to the theaters? That's very much on the table that that could have happened. But we watched it on Peacock because we could, and it was free, and it was very convenient. So that will always be the case. If you provide two options, it hurts the other option. So that's where every time that they do this and Universal Blumhouse seems to do this a lot. They're doing it more so than it seems like anyone else. And they're doing it with a lot of these Halloween movies. They did it with the last two Halloween movies. And then now they're doing it with their Five Nights at Freddy's, this year's Halloween release from Blumhouse. And it's very easy for people, for us to like just immediately go, why are they trading in ticket sales? They're losing box office. That's stupid. If all of, all of us can see that, they can see that too. <laughs> so I, I think there's a side to it of, I would love to know their exact rationale. I would love to be in the meeting with them to see what, what game they're playing. It's possible that the person making these decisions is just some 75 year old man that doesn't understand how all of this works and is just making bad decisions based off ignorance. It's more likely that there's something going on that they're seeing that we're not seeing. They know something we don't know in part of their larger strategy of what they're trying to do with all of this. Because they're not doing it with everything. It seems to be very targeted towards horror movies and in particular in October. I think there's a side to it that they're, they're playing like a long game of they just know if these brands are successful, if people are excited about these brands... There's there's merchandising, there's future longevity of all the other revenue streams of it. I think they're thinking long term, like Five Nights at Freddy's. Every middle schooler wants to watch this. Not every middle schooler's parents will take them to the theater. So it's more likely you get way more eyes on it. And these are people that they're obsessed with it. So I think the strategy is more comp like you have to think bigger picture that they're thinking, how do I build gigantic brands and sell toys and merchandise, all this, make long-term fans, and you make the movie more accessible if you want to do that. Face value, of course, they would sell more tickets and they would have more upfront gross revenue. I don't know exactly what their, their rationale is for doing this, but certainly they, they're, they're not just morons. They are the ones who their job is on the line Keeping their job, getting promotions, all that stuff comes down to making money and wise strategies. This is the third year in a row that they've done this at Halloween. They probably have some sort of rationale that's behind all of this. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.